What do we have here? RM? Not for an RM. For a YZ. Let's see what we got here. Honda? I'm just playing, guys. Enough of the jokes. I got red radiator hoses to match with the red on the bike. But here's the radiator hoses. I told you all the radiator was busted, so I'm going to go ahead and show you all what radiator I went with. See if I can get it out with one hand. I'll show you all. This is my old radiator cap on there, but I got the uh, the over, or they're, they're twice as thick, they're 40 mil, 40 mil radiators, and as you can see, you probably can't see honestly, I mean these are just thicker, y'all will see, hopefully they fit on there the, the right, right way, they, the mounting brackets and the hoses all look to be right, but I got to get them on there so once I get these out I will show y'all what I'm doing to get off and then after we get them off I'm gonna ride a little bit for y'all so let's get this done real real quick okay so it's just a quick just getting the seat bolts off <clears throat> draining the coolant always make a mess with the coolant but drain the coolant I brought the bike and then taking the gas tank off and letting it sit. My valve doesn't work, so I'm propping it up against that bike. Uh, then all you gotta do really is just change out the radiators, which is just that bolt and uh, a bolt there and there and the hoses, and then you're done pretty much. So I'm gonna get back with y'all once I get all that off. The only problem I'm seeing right now is how tight it is right there against the pipe. Like it's almost touching the pipe so I hope they fit good but I'll get back with y'all once I get get this done because I know it's gonna take way longer than it should but I got the bike sitting out here just in case there's any more coolant left over in there I didn't come out the the plug on the bottom so it won't make more of a mess than that right there so I got the new radiators on the new thicker ones I used the old cap but as you can see, it's got the red hoses on it. And they look, I think it looks really good, but we'll see after we get every, the gas tank and the seat back on how it really looks. If I can get it on, it took me about an hour or so. So if I can get it on before it gets dark, I'll ride for y'all today and show y'all. But it looks pretty good. I like how, how the aluminum looks compared to the black. And these are just, you can see, it's just, it's just thinner. So it's going to cool it more, so that's better. But I'm going to get everything put back together and, and the next thing you'll probably see will probably be either the box back together or GoPro footage. Okay guys, so I just got everything back together, just uh, tightened everything up, spilled a little bit out of the overflow, so it's, don't think it's leaking again, I know, I'm used to seeing that anyways for now, but hopefully that goes away, it should, but this right here, my dad is going to get some gas while I was putting it back together, but uh, it has a little bit in there, and this is a true, true cold start. It's a true cold start. The last time this bike has even been crunk up was six days ago, seven, six or seven days ago. So she has been sitting here for a week, not even been cranked. Not, I, didn't, I haven't crunked this bike up since I got back just because the fact that the radiators were busted. But I got those on. I got it filled up and everything. So we're going to do a nice little cold start here. What is that? Oh wow. Alright. So we're going to do a nice little cold start. See how she cranks. And I can just go and show y'all real quick. I mean she is actually really that's freezing. Because it's getting colder outside up here. Not got used to that Florida weather. Come back in September down here in Georgia and it's kind of cold. But here we go.
Yeah, I was doing that. Just hold on. I'm sure she was leaking out gas when I took it off. Let me see. Yeah, there's a little bit of gas in there. I guess she hasn't been broken so long. She always idles when she drew a high. get some gas and put in here and we'll go rock. Okay, so I've been letting it sit here and warm it up for a few minutes. We're gonna fill it up with some gas and we're gonna go rock. on a bike it's been a while it's been about a week or so so I'm really glad to be back on this 125 it feels really good as you can tell like I say she stays cold D rider be able to see back there.
I'll jump me off this thing. Gonna get better using that back brake. I did just a little bit just then. dog to keep on chasing me so I just took off we gotta go back another way So I'm gonna get off here and I'm gonna check everything, make sure everything's full and right and everything's right with the bike. And I'll probably make another video real quick, but for now, I'm gonna I'm gonna get off and check everything. I'm gonna open it up one good time. See how fast I can get in, then I'm gonna put it up for tonight. It's getting cold out. It really is, it's getting really cold. As y'all saw in my last video. Yeah guys, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. There'll be better videos tomorrow. I won't get out here so late. Because I couldn't ride earlier because I was working all the time. But I'll see y'all tomorrow.